Open phones at 888-825-5225. Marquita is with us in Atlanta. Happy New Year, Marquita. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Happy New Year. Cool. How can I help? Okay, so I am in $120,669 worth of debt, and we currently bring in $5,334. The math told me that the longest it should take me would be about five years to do it, but we're in an apartment right now, and we're renting, and this apartment has had mold. And I would like to move because our lease is up in April, and I'm trying to figure out would that be a good decision because over the past year, I've went from making twenty four thousand to sixty one thousand in salary. Good for you. So you're single? No, no. I'm married. Okay, you make sixty one thousand. What does he make? Thirty. So you have a ninety thousand dollar household income. You have one hundred and twenty thousand dollars in debt. What kind of debt is it? Seventy of it is student loans. Um, Fifteen for one car and seventeen for the other. About six is credit cards, and then it's some medical bills. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, how much is your rent? Our rent is nine oh four. Okay. And when you move, what would be your rent? That's the thing. I'm thinking it would go up because most of the rent around here where we live is from a thousand to about twelve hundred. I really don't want to pay more than twelve hundred. Period. So. Well, I don't really want you paying more than nine hundred. It's what you're paying now. That would be nice. Well, just if I stay here. <laughs> You die of a mold infection. Yeah, I don't think you're staying there, but I think right. I think we're gonna say, "Gosh, we need to move," and uh, we're gonna move into something that is nine hundred a month. That's clean. Okay. All right. And um, then you got to start asking yourself, "What have we got to do to get rid of one hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of debt?" You got thirty five, thirty two thousand dollars worth of car loans. Right. That's a lot for somebody living in an apartment. Okay. It's a lot, period. But, um, you know, you can work your way through this, but I'm probably selling one of those cars if I'm you guys and get me a cheap car. Paid for beater while I get out of debt. And let's see if we can accelerate this get out of debt process. Have you cut up your credit cards yet? Um, I no, you have haven't. Two, it's a yes or no answer. Off. Did you or not? <laughs> No, not all of them. Okay. I'm not using them. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Get them out and cut them up. All right. Right now. All right. You got to decide if you're going to okay. live in this apartment with two car payments broke the rest of your life or not. You're going to have to do something no, that's radical. Do that. You're going to have to do something that's radical, kid. Something's got to change. Okay. It's time to get fired all up. Right. I mean, you're not even making the playoffs, much less winning the Super Bowl. It's time to get with it, right? <laughs> Right, you is. make freaking ninety thousand dollars a year, and you're broke. I can't really tell I'm making that much. I can. You I'm just using, told me. I'm using the every dollar budget, and <laughs> even for this month, like I, I budgeted the money, and it's not hey, every dollar. Hey, 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 stop, stop. What I'm trying to get you to All realize right. is that when you get disgusted, is when you're going to change. But you, you're you using credit cards. you still got your credit cards open. You've got car payments coming out your ears, and you're not mm-hmm. winning. You're going to have to get radical to win. And it's okay. going to require a dramatic mindset change. Do you have children? Yes, I have one son. How old is he? He's five. Okay. When he goes to bed tonight, as soon as he goes to sleep, I want you and your husband to walk in there and look at that sleeping child and make him a promise that you're going to change his family tree by changing your dead gum behaviors. Okay. You can do this. Now, have, yes. you, t- have you two been to the Financial Peace University yet? No. Right. If I give that to you, will you go, both of you? Yes, we will go. All right. And we then really when you're rich someday, I want you to send somebody else as your gift, Okay. Okay. Because you're going to be rich if you do what I teach you to do. But you're going to have to do it. 
You have to get fired up. It's going. You got to get disgusted to where you go. I don't care. I'm getting out of this mess. I'm sick and tired of making this much money and being broke. When you get that thing going inside of you, when you get sick and tired of being sick and tired, that's when you're going to change, kiddo. That's when everything's going to happen. And you're going to quit playing around the edges of this, trying to figure out a way to cheat the system. You can't cheat the system. It's freaking math. It kicks your butt until you kick its butt. Somebody's going to win this argument, and you got to win the argument. So far, math has kicked your butt. You got $120,000 in debt, and you live in a mold infested apartment making $90,000 a year with a five year old son. Get disgusted. I'm disgusted. Get disgusted. You can do this. Hold on. We're going to give you Financial Peace University. And you call me back if you need some help as you're doing this.